आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विथ ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यूर क्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे On the 5th of March 1931 the Gandhi Irwin Pact was signed. The political agreement marked the end of satyagraha against the British government that Gandhi ji had initiated with the Salt March. Gandhi ji had initiated the Salt March between March and April 1930. The Great March for Liberty began. Gandhi started on his 241 mile long trek from the ashram to Dandi, a village on the sea coast. along with his chosen band of 78 ashram inmates symbols of the national determination with a strong resolve and undaunted look 61 year old gandhi with his undying faith in the justice of the cause he was pursuing and in the success of the great campaign he had embarked upon marched at the head of the procession with quick and unfaltering steps Bapu's arrest and imprisonment at the end of the march sparked off one of his more effective civil disobedience movements in British India. By the end of 1930, thousands of Indians were in jail and the movement had generated worldwide publicity. Lord Irwin was looking for a way to end it. To this end, Gandhi ji was released from custody in January 1931. Gandhi ji was authorized by the then president of the congress Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel to negotiate with Lord Irwin As per the pact Gandhi ji on behalf of the Indian National Congress agreed to discontinue the civil disobedience movement The Congress agreed to join the second round table conference to chalk out constitutional reforms It was also agreed that the british would withdraw all orders imposing curbs on the activities of the indian national congress they also agreed to withdraw trials relating to several offenses except those involving violence and release of prisoners arrested for participating in the civil disobedience movement it was also agreed that the british would remove the tax on salt which allowed indians to produce trade and sell salt legally and for their own use odisha mate ram mera pote garbita ja pai desa we also remember freedom fighter and statesman bijanand patnaik popularly known as biju patnaik who was born on the 5th of march 1916 considered the architect of modern odisha biju is lovingly referred to as the hero of kalinga and the karavela of kalinga biju patnaik was educated at ravenshaw college in odisha but due to his interest in aviation dropped out and trained as a pilot patnaik flew with the private airlines but at the start of the second world war he joined the royal indian air force While in service he developed an interest in nationalist politics and used air force transports to deliver what was seen as subversive literature to indian troops He was jailed by the british for dropping political leaflets to indian soldiers fighting under british command in burma and flying clandestine missions that carried congress party leaders from hideouts across india to secret meetings that charted the independence struggle Biju joined the Quit India movement and was sent to prison for 2 years in 1943. Biju was also instrumental in assisting Indonesia with its independence struggle against the Dutch in 1947. The Indonesian Prime Minister Sultan Jahrir was placed under surveillance by the colonial Dutch. Jawaharlal Nehru entrusted the task of rescuing Sultan Jahrir to Biju Patnaik. Biju braved all obstacles and brought Sultan Jahrir and staff aboard from Java Islands on the 22nd of July 1947 to Singapore and finally to Delhi. An indebted Indonesia conferred the highest civilian award Bhumi Putra to Biju. Chira bandita hai mati ma bandhan bandhi ka hai
in 1946, but Naik was elected uncontested to the Odisha Legislative Assembly from North Katak constituency. He served twice as the Chief Minister of the State of Odisha. We salute the great freedom fighter. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.